The Rosanna J. Willis Award is presented to a local or state affiliate who revived or established a new human relations program, promoted the inclusion of human relations training for its staff, and established programs that involve the community in its civil rights work. This, re this year's recipient is from the state of Missouri. Hi, I'm John Stocks, Executive Director of the NEA. It's my privilege to introduce an organization that has as its core the belief that every voice should be heard, that every member can be a great leader with the right training and support, and someone to believe in them. That someone is the Missouri NEA. Human and civil rights aren't just a concept for the Missouri NEA. They're a way of doing business, a way of interacting with friends and neighbors, a way of life. In 2010, the state of Missouri had a minority population of about 19%, but MNEA has a minority membership of only 8% making it a challenge to reach representation goals on boards and at important meetings. But they've risen to the challenge and reached and more often surpassed their goals every year for the past 17 years. Strong minority leaders are actively sought out and provided with every available training opportunity. I didn't know if I wanted to be a leader. They saw in me what I didn't really see in myself, and they brought out those leadership qualities in me. With participants regularly attending NEA's minority leadership training and women's leadership training programs. It helped me to look at my leadership abilities and talents that I have, and I can, give, I can use those to be an effective leader in my community. There is no magic in finding and training new leaders. It takes hard work. You need to have commitment and passion to do it. And no one does better in recruiting new women leaders and ethnic minorities than Missouri NEA. No leadership for Chris Gunther is out of anyone's reach. If uh, I told Chris I wanted to run for president, she would say, go for it, I'll help you. MNEA's groundbreaking No More Bullying program has been making a difference in students' lives since it premiered in 2007. Thousands of both MNEA members and community members have been trained in bully prevention and a unique whole school approach to school safety that involves school personnel, parents, and students. And the MNEA believes in reaching out with a helping hand. Their Hope Fund aids schools or students who have been affected by a natural disaster or other hardship. Giving back is so essential to the organization that raising money for the Hope Fund is an important part of every big gathering. Thank you, delegates. This spirit of giving was never more apparent than when a deadly F5 tornado hit Joplin in May of 2011. The fund was able to raise and distribute more than $23,000 to those in need. Whether it's supporting each other in times of trouble or lifting each other up so all may succeed, the Missouri NEA is leading the way. Accepting the award is Missouri NEA President Chris Gunther. Oh, the video was great. Over the years, Missouri NEA members and staff have embedded a commitment to advancing human and civil rights into our organizational mission and vision. To us, this award affirms that the collaborative efforts of our board of directors, our committees, our local leaders, and our staff have been successful. On behalf of Missouri NEA's 30,000 plus members, I thank you, we thank you for recognizing our commitment this recognition gives us the impetus for our continued efforts to move ahead in the work we've yet to do in order to support all of our members and the students we serve. Thank you very much. <laughs>